Hi guys, welcome back to Table View Session Two. In previous tutorial, we have created a Table View cell programmatically. The same thing can be done in another way. We are taking cell into the cell object. I am checking cell equal to equal to nil, then creating. Okay. Here we are getting optional. So in previous tutorial, we used directly optional binding so that we don't have to put. the optional check here optional chaining is not required okay fine what we are doing we are creating cell how many cells we are creating how many number of rows visible on the table view and one or two extra now i don't want to use this line of code here i want to create the my cell programmatic now by using storyboard how to do that let's go this is the approach what we generally follow this is the recommended way to this is simplest way to design your user interface this is my cell how much size you want you adjust it and uh, it needs identifier numbers cell is the identifier that's it here it gets changed i'm writing it again okay if what uh, we need to return finally we need to return table cell let uh, where cell equal to i am asking table u table u dq reachable cell with identifier what is the identifier this is the identifier what is the identifier here we are not creating any cell here i am just checking i am directly putting text that's it You can also take let, run it. Without creating programmatically, we are using the instance which is there in the storyboard. For the buttons and labels which you have drag and drop on storyboard, we have we never created through programmatically. Similarly, table cell is already existing in the storyboard, so don't create it. Same works. Now, what is the DQ cell with the raise and for method getting uh, doing? if there is any free cell return that cell if there is no free cell if there is no free cell create new cell from the storyboard and return it that's it create new cell from storyboard and return it previously in the storyboard there was no uh, cell so that uh, it was not able to create so that uh, we created cell programmatically previous version this is the another approach this is the recommended approach okay drag and drop your cell in storyboard customize it however you want you can also customize it apply some colors background colors we have only one section now i'll show you how to use multiple sections i am having two arrays one is the names array names this is numbers numbers 0 to 10 names okay these are the names i want to display numbers in one section names in another section numbers change the name okay i want to have two sections how to provide the two sections we have a method in table view delegate that table view data source so that how many number of sections you need you can simply type number of sections it provides or else you can directly go to the table view data source and look for that method how many number of sections we need i need two sections okay here it is asking number of rows in section by default section number is the zero now i am putting if section 
equal to equal to zero, return it. Return numbers dot count. Section zero, I want to display only the numbers. Section one, I want to display names dot count. How many names I am I am having in names are I am writing. Similarly, here we need to differentiate the text as well, right? I am differentiating. Index path contains two two values. One is section equal to equal to zero. Do this. Else section one, section one. The cell text title should be from the names. Very simple. We need to differentiate. We are having two arrays. So I want to display one array in section zero, one array in section one. For section zero, put the condition and do. For section one, put the condition and do. If you see, it seems only one section, but actually it is differentiated. There is no differentiation. I will show you the differentiation as well. It is clubbed. The section one and section two are clubbed together. I will differentiate whenever you are using sections. If you want to differentiate them, go to the table U and section. Uh, there should be something. Table U type. Style plain to grouped. The recommended way of using the protocols is by using extension. Okay. Now you see it contains some default header section zero. This is section one. I want to put some titles on the section zero. How to put titles? So we have a method title for header and section. Return. Again, we need to differentiate. If section, we are getting integer directly here. We are getting integer here. In case of self-forward index path, we are getting row and section in the form of one object that is index path. Section equal to equal to zero. Return something else. Return something. Section zero. It is numbers. Section one. It is names. Perfect. This is number so. The, what is it? Is see here footer. We need a header. Header in section. Okay. Top one is the first section is the number so. Second section is the names. Okay. Here, if you see, there is some gap that is footer. Let's set the footer height for footer in section height for footer in section. I want zero height so that we don't see the extra space. Still, we are able to see maybe something else. Okay, fine. Now I want to display images. I want to display images. Let me take one image in assets library. Take one image. Images, images. This is my image. Three double nine seven. For all the cells, I want to set image dot image view image view. Has a property called image UI image named. This is how we set the name uh, image programmatically. Three double nine seven. Three double nine seven. You don't need to give the extension dot png jpg. You don't need three double nine seven. Run it and see. This is how what we are doing here. Cell has a property. I am asking the property. It is for not for section zero or section one. It is common for all the cells. It will be displayed. If you want to differentiate the image, what you need to do? How we are differentiating the text? Taking in array. Similarly, in array you can take all the image objects. And for section zero, you can supply one image. For section one, you can supply another image. And similarly, we are having detail text. Use all the properties. Detail text label dot text. Detail text. I am putting it for 
all the cells what you can do is you can take separate objects separate array and you can do that detail text is not visible why it is not visible the cell what we have taken is simply default cell you need to make it a subtitle we are having different cell type, type uh, types you can try this as well change this uh, left detail right detail see what are the things happening detail text label accessory button also we have right let's try to use that for all cells cell dot accessory type accessory type has four types check mark i need you can also use the check mark you're having three more types type extra type okay when user clicks on it to do something check it and check it check it and check it you can try the doing that and uh, extra types there are multiple uh, couple of types you try that table cell types there are a couple of types you try them and when user clicks on a particular cell what should happen did uh, select row index path this is the method gets called index path dot row index path dot section okay i clicked on section 0 row 0 section 0 row 0 i am clicking on section 0 uh, section 0 row number 9 section 0 row number 10 what you can do here you can also find out uh, on which item on which text user is clicking on right uh, since we are having rows and sections uh, if uh, section 0 if uh, index path dot section equal equal 0 means uh, he clicked on section 0 else uh, section 1 i can take the value from here right uh, we are printing numbers numbers of index path dot row similarly names dot index path dot row what i am trying to do here we are setting the same thing if section 0 section 1 same thing we are doing here section 0 section 1 instead of putting the text on the label i am putting i am giving as output same thing whatever we have set uh, by using index path uh, same thing we are doing here instead of displaying on the table cell and displaying it on the console by using print statement four nine dn ready agony eight okay when user is clicking on something this method gets called did select row at index path okay i want to provide a different height for the cell we're having method height for cell at index path height for row at index path okay for section 0 i want to give some different uh, height for section 1 i want to give some different height section equal to equal to 0 you're expecting cg float to return 100 else return 150 float so add dot zero there are many methods many methods in table delegate and data source you just have to use them section 0 100 section 1 150 see the difference here 100 height 150 height i want to provide uh, there are many methods you can get into the table delegate and data source whatever we required uh, we definitely teach there are a couple of classes for the table view number of rows we have seen cell for what index path we have seen number of sections we have seen title for header section we have seen title for footer we have seen we haven't seen we can set that can edit row index path can table view edit or not can move section index titles try this are you asking it is asking for array a b x y 
you can have basically x y z in contacts so you will see in iphone contacts you will see that if you are having n number of uh, n number of contacts if you want to jump to the section a like a uh, names uh, the contact names starting with a you can jump to a we do not have sufficient data so that it is not getting moved b somewhere uh, which one i will try click b there is no b the next line whatever after the b we have it we came here a a somewhere zero if you are having a to z contacts a to z names then you will move to particular way a is not there so it came to zero i guess b directly coming to the d a means starting so d x y what we can do is we can put some names starting with a here a b x similarly y okay i'm somewhere clicking on a moves to a b moves to b mm. B is not there. B is there, right? Okay. Okay, okay. Got it. Maybe it is for sections. First section is A. Second section is B. Basically, in the contacts, uh, the sections are divided into section names will be divided into A and B. I, I can show you somewhere if you have the contacts. The section names will be. Something like A and B, A B C D. Some of the H. Contacts. I don't have contacts here. Yeah, the section names are A B H T, something like this. So that uh, each section based on the section title, it is moving. B. If you have more contacts, uh, then you can see the. section titles the method itself so section titles section index titles based on the section index titles so you will move jump to the particular section we are having only two sections so first section is a second section is b this is all about uh, table view table view customization is there customization is very very important there are multiple ways to customize it hope you find something new here and the concept is clear if you like my video please do subscribe for sure and uh, like it if you like it thank you for watching